Hello everyone and welcome back to Ian's EDC. Thank you so much for all of the comments, all of the likes, the follows. It's been really, really nice seeing the response to this channel um, in such a short amount of time as well. Uh, last week we went through my Micro Essentials kit and this was kind of like a whole load of contents that really just help you get through day-to-day uh, -day life. And one of the comments I received was from uh, a lovely man called James Oldfield. 6477. Now he said that there was one thing that he believes was missing from the kit and that was a glass breaker. Now I fully agree with him. I think it's uh, it's something that I've got in both of my vehicles but it isn't something that I carry around in my sling and that has now all changed. So take a look at this. So I want to show you the glass breaker that I already own and this was from my van. I've also got one in my car as I've mentioned and these are normally kind of hooked in a, in a convenient place where you can just reach to them and grab them. Um, and this is from a company called Rescue Me which is very clever in the way they spelt it. So R-E-S-Q-M-E and at the time of making this video I think it's on discount so it's around about seven pounds on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description below but my uh, my dad and, and loads of people have kind of I don't know not I don't want to say the older generation what I mean is for years everyone has had in their car if you are prepared uh, a hammer a glass hammer and it will have a kind of a spike on one end and it will have a, a seatbelt cutter on the other end these things are great, right? They're very handy to have in your car. However, there is a disadvantage, and I know this is the disadvantage which makes me seem like I'm paranoid, um, but my dad brought this up and I thought it was a good point. If you are underwater, if you're trapped underwater, very, very difficult to get a good swing on that hammer to gain enough momentum to smash that glass. That's only one disadvantage to the hammer. Uh, I think space is an issue to really get a purchase on it. And this little glass breaker from Rescue Me and other companies that use a similar design really, I believe, solves that problem. So let me walk through what you get when you uh, when you get this. So these are available in a lot of different colors. You can get them in blue, red, green, all sorts of colors. I've gone for kind of like a bright, a luminous color. I think that's very wise because you need that uh, if it's in a dark place or you uh, you desperately need to try and find this thing uh, when you're upside down in your car. This is the colour that I've gone for. Now what you get is you get a kind of a wrist strap I suppose. Uh, that can be hung up anywhere in your van or your car. I technically kind of well, typically put it over the indicator um, kind of controller in the car and wrap it around so that it's on there tight. And then you, all you do is this. So you've got that, this kind of key ring and, uh, and this kind of holder and what you do is you just pull it off like so. So that pulls off, which means that this can stay in place in the vehicle. And then you're left with this to hold on to. So notice right here, this seatbelt blade. Now this cuts through a seatbelt like butter. I haven't tried it, but I've seen videos where it does. The other thing that it has is this window breaker. Now the window breaker is basically this compression. And when you push it really tight, it will click and it will release this little spike inside and it pushes it at such a uh, kind of a force that it smashes the window, apparently. Now, how do we know it smashes the window? And that might be what you're asking. How can we trust it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here at Ian's EDC, I have gone through a, uh, an ex you know, kind of really made a lot of effort for you and I have got myself a spare car door. Now, I will explain, right? I haven't got the spare car door just for you, all right? But let me explain. Someone crashed into me in a, uh, a petrol station. They scratched the side of the car. Now I went to try and get this repaired. They said to me, don't bother getting it repaired. You may as well just buy a brand new door, right? The scratch and the dent was so wide, it would take forever to fill in that hole. So he said, go out and buy yourself a door. So I did, and that was before the birth of this channel, right? I've owned this door, I replaced the door, so now what you're gonna see in the video coming up is the old door, and, uh, and I've taken the trim off and all sorts uh, to kind of swap it over. 
but uh, essentially I fitted my own door on, on my car and I had this old door waiting in the garage for me to take to a scrap metal merchant for a long time and I just never got around to doing it. And then when this channel started, I thought, yeah, I need to try this out. So it's really worked well in terms of the timings of the micro EDCs kit, uh, the sling bag video, and also James's comments. I wanna say a big thank you to James for uh, suggesting that, for reminding me of this device that I've had in my car that I've been wanting to try. And so I'm now gonna play the video for you of the smashing of the glass. Here we go. Okay, so that was the video. Uh, so I put on my safety glasses, I had my, my gloves on, I, I did everything correctly. There was a lot of hoovering up to do in the garage afterwards, uh, but I did put down dust sheets to make it easier, okay? I did do things properly. Uh, but you'll notice it took a couple of attempts to smash. Now this may be natural, it may just be what happens when you use this device, or it could be the fact that the door and the window was pressed up against the wall, and so the pressure of the wall was stopping it from, uh, from being able to smash freely. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna blame myself on that video. Uh, nevertheless, three times, three or four attempts of just a click, it's not much effort, just a clicking it up against the, uh, the, the window really is, is not much effort at all. So I'm really impressed with this, really impressed. And I'm definitely gonna put one in my sling bag now as well. I'll probably put one in my backpack. I'll probably buy quite a few of these and put them all over the place. However, if you are in a car on a day-to-day -day basis and you don't have one of these in your car, I highly recommend getting one. I'll leave the link in the description below. But also, if you're someone who travels around the city in multiple Ubers and taxis and things like that, get yourself one of these and put it on your keychain. Make sure you've got one ready to go so that if you need to smash the glass for yourself or for someone else, you're always ready to go. So thank you so much for this video. It's been a random video, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm really impressed with it. And please, once again, do like this video, comment. And also, if there's anything from the past videos that you want me to go into more depth in uh, and kind of review individual items, then please leave a comment down below as well. And uh, for me, that's it for this week. So hopefully you have enjoyed it. It saved you buying your own car door to try out that glass smasher on. And uh, we've certainly made the best out of a bad situation. So thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.